Just 10 cents a day helps fund local programs like Scenic Stops, Northwest Ohio Journal, and BGSU Brain Game. Watch, connect, explore. Rutherford B. Hayes was born in Delaware, Ohio in 1822. He went to Kenyon College in Gambier, Ohio. He served as a Civil War officer, a U.S. Congressman, Governor of the State of Ohio, and then President of the United States. He moved into the home over my shoulder in 1873 between his second and third governorships, and he also retired here. This is where he and his wife Lucy both died, she in 1889 and he in 1893. The uh, home of Rutherford Hayes has been occupied by many generations of Hayeses. And so when people would come here for tours, they would see the house decorated as the last generation of Hayeses left it in 1965. When you're coming to visit a historic site, you're generally uh, expecting to see it decorated as the famous family left it. So we are trying to restore the downstairs rooms of the home to the look that they had in the 1880s and 1890s when Rutherford and Lucy Hayes lived here. The process has been going on for about 12 years when we first started studying uh, how to bring the house back. We acquired the funds five years ago and the physical work has been going on for the last four years and we're just wrapping up that process right now. There have been several challenges. Uh, it's hard to find artisans who were able to do some of the things that we needed done in the home. Some of the intricate uh, wallpaper work and carpentry has been kind of an adventure finding the uh, quality craftsmen who can do those things. Fortunately, we were able to locate these people, some of them even uh, in the local area. In the restoration process of a historic home like this, it's important to pay attention to the details. We're working from photographs that were made in the 1880s and 1890s, and we're meticulously recreating the finishes that were in the house at that point, putting back up picture rails, uh, restoring frames of paintings to what they look like, hanging paintings in the exact spot where they were back then. And it's the details that most people won't notice, but uh, to us it's very important to get it right and do it the way that Rutherford and Lucy Hayes had done it way back uh, 100 years ago. We had uh, custom wallpapers printed. We had the furniture sent out and reupholstered with appropriate uh, upholstery. We had the paintings and their frames conserved. And so it's been a long involved process of uh, sending items out or having things fixed here in place. We felt it was important to keep the house open during almost all of the restoration work so that people could see the people in there working and also so they could get uh, just a, an update of what's going on with their money. So it's, uh, it's been very well received by the public. People like to see people in there doing work. Once we finish this phase of the restoration, there are a few other areas in the house that still need some work. It would be good to bring the kitchen back to what it was when Rutherford and Lucy Hayes lived there and the dining room, but we just didn't have enough money to bite off those particular rooms. But the goal is to keep the house uh, as it was when Rutherford and Lucy Hayes lived there. Scenic Stops is brought to you by WBGU-TV. Support great local programming by giving now at wbgu.org slash pledge.